All right, khamradio.com, your man E-Law, inside your radio, your internet, your smartphone, and in our continuing series on the entertainment industry, I've got some people here that have got something for you, but you can't have it just yet. We're going to tell you about it and get you ready for it. There's a short film that's going to come out, and the name of that short film is called Fred. Just simply Fred. I've got Kyle, Eric, Dale, and Ginger here with me now. How you guys doing? Hey, hey. how are you? Now, the name of the production company is Deep Blue Productions. And uh, this film, I understand, is something that you guys created that's going to be submitted to the Louisiana Film Prize. Is that right? That's correct. Kyle, tell me a little bit about the motivation to create the film. How did you guys get together and decide to, to do the project? Well, it's, it's real easy. Basically, uh, we all are a group of friends. Um, we all have the same passion. We love films. Uh, we love the art of making films. Um, and uh, with the Louisiana Film Prize, it just was a great motivator to come together as a group and put something uh, on paper and then put it on film. Okay. And Kyle is the um, director of photography on the film, and he's also the editor. And I've seen a lot of Kyle's work. Kyle's actually done some, some um, work with me in it. So I know what, what this guy can do. So Thanks, this man. is something that you guys really are going to want to be interested in to, ch to check out. Now tell me about the, the prize itself. What is the prize if you actually win um, the contest? Dale? Well, the prize would be uh, $50,000. Wow, cash. Cash money right then. That's pretty good, man. Well, 50,000 bucks sounds like, you know, that's, that's some motivation. Now, Dale Beasley is, uh, is the, uh, one of the actors in the film, and he's also the executive producer. So you get first, you get first dibs at the money back, right? Well, I hope so, <laughs> but we're going to kind of divide it up, uh, I think, a little bit equally. Since Kyle's been working so hard on this thing, we were going to give him like 10 bucks, you know. Uh, but <laughs> if you know, we decide to go, maybe we may go to $20. Who knows? Well, that'll I, get him a if, whole I, if, I'm <laughs> if I'm lucky. If I'm lucky. All right, well, and also with us is Ginger, who does makeup, and she's also the actress in the film. Ginger, how did you get involved in the project? Uh, my friend Dell just said, he, do you want to do the short film? Uh, and I said, sure, you know, I'm always on board on any, anything to do in the film industry. So um, I just came over, and, and then they needed a makeup artist, too, so. So there you were. She's too. fantastic. <laughs> so good. I love doing it. So I was, like, overly impressed uh, whenever I first saw it. Some of the characters in the movie, I was just like, and very impressed with Ginger's work. Thank you, thank you. Now, have you done acting before? Oh yes, I've been in acting field for 20 years now. So. Okay, cool. Yes. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> Not 20 years. That's good though. Also with us right here is uh, Eric, who's the director of Fred. Eric, have you had an extensive background in directing, or is this your first crack at it, or? or? Oh no, I, I've, I've been trying to make good films here for the past six years and uh, when I first started out I, I didn't know anything about filming or the film industry and over the years I, I've you know made some films made some mistakes and then met some really great people along the way and you know finally now I think you, you know with Dale and, and meeting guys like Kyle uh, it, it's really cool to be able to make films that are actually enjoyable that people want to watch and um, and you know, advance yeah. you know, our, our craft. Okay, well now, now here's a question that I think people will want to know. When a contest like this happens, um, I'm sure they give you guidelines about what you can do, what you can't do, you know, how they want it formatted. But did they leave you um, a wide range of creativity? Like, were you able to kind of go with what you wanted to do and make something happen absolutely. that you felt proud of it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the only criteria that, uh, that Louisiana Film Prize uh, had was that you had to shoot it in a date range and certain days. It had to be local in Shreveport area. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, was there anything else? Was there a, another, any other stipulations? It just uh, and it has to premiere at the film. It has to premiere first at the Louisiana Film Prize before it premieres anywhere else. So you guys can't leak anything. You can't show any video footage. No, we can we can show some stills and uh, we can we can make a trailer. Um, but in, in its entirety, it has to premiere at the Louisiana Film Prize first. So we can't leak it on YouTube. We can't you know bring, right. we can't let it premiere at another film festival. It has to appear with the Louisiana Film Prize. All right, and that'll take us into the next question or the, or the next thing that we want our listeners to, to get uh, a hold of. What can you tell us about it? Because I'm sure people are interested now in what's going on. They want to know, well, hey, well, what is it about? What can you tell me? 
Well, I, I do want to start off before we answer that. I want to say that, that we are missing two other people uh, in the production that couldn't join us today. Uh, one of the other actresses, Kathy Kennington, um, she was, she's not able to make it today, but she uh, played uh, Kathy in the movie. And uh, also our sound uh, engineer, Ken Wachter, um, as well. We want to give shout outs to both of them because without them, the, the project would not have been possible either. Um, but. Uh, Going on, as far as what we can tell you about the movie, um, well, I would say it's a, it's a horror comedy. Um, it's going to be suspenseful, um, and uh, and and we're hoping that people will get a good laugh uh, as well along the way. Um, as well as totally entertaining movies too. It's uh, I don't like doing those movies that are big dramas that you're going to cry over. I just right. I just like the comedies that you want to be entertained and you want to laugh and feel good. When it's over with, and that's uh, really what the objective was: is to come up with something that, you know, hopefully they have as many laughs as a uh, sitcom. Right. That if you don't laugh, you know, six, eight, ten times while you're watching this movie in, in 12 minutes, then something's wrong. We did something wrong. But yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's hard to entertain people for 15 minutes or 12 minutes, however long your film is. It's hard to entertain people. Um, and still have a good plot. And still have a good plot and keep people interested. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one of the things we've learned over the years. So just entertainment is, is what it's all about and, and having people leave with a smile on their face. And that's, that's what we made this film for. Okay. And as far as the, let's say the, the, the plot line, you know, and again, without giving too much away, uh, I assume that the main character's name is Fred? It is. Uh, he's definitely the main character. Um, but uh, we want to kind of keep his character a little bit of a mystery right now. Um, but what I will say is another one of the characters, Craig, um, it's really more about his, his journey uh, as well. Um, so the start of the movie, uh, Craig um, is in a fight with his uh, girlfriend and um, they break up and uh, he um, is dealing with his grief and uh, it happens to catch an infomercial on TV. Uh, it was very entertaining and it compels him to purchase a product. Um, but this product comes with some unforeseen costs, if you will. Okay. And, uh, and how he deals with that. How he deals and, with that. And, and, and how he, yeah. Okay. Exactly. How everyone else deals with that, too. And how everyone else deals with that. <laughs> so, so it kind of unfolds from there. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's and then, and that's good. And we're sitting here. This is khamradio.com, your man Elaw, and uh, we're with Deep Blue Productions. I've got Kyle, Eric, Dale, and Ginger. We're talking about their short film, which is entitled Fred. Can't see it yet, but uh, it's something that's coming, and we want you guys to, you know, get firsthand knowledge of it, so that when it comes out, you can be among the first to check it out and uh, and see what kind of talent we have going on. We're doing this in Shreveport, Louisiana. For those of you that may be listening, uh, you know, in other parts of the country, you can uh, check out the website, www.khamradio.com. We're going to post info about Deep Blue Productions. Um, they have a Facebook page. I'm sure that they'd like you guys to go like. Yeah, please go to facebook.com forward slash Fred Short Film um, and like our page. Also, we have uh, more information about the movie there uh, and a few uh, stills from the movie to check out. So. Enjoy. And also, also, be sure to go to LAFilmPrize.com and purchase your tickets for the film prize competition. So uh, right now they're on sale. Yes. Yeah, they're on sale fifteen dollars right now till August the fifteenth. Vote and for they, Fred. And they go to twenty dollars after August the fifteenth, and the premiere is going to be like all, October the third or something like that. So okay. And where where is the actual um, event going to be held? Uh, it's going to be held in multiple locations. Uh, I believe it's going to be held at the Rob Robinson Film Center. They're going to block off uh, the first block of Texas Street right there where the church is. Okay. And we have a big party uh, that whole weekend. And again, the Robinson Film Center uh, is a location here in Shreveport, uh, Louisiana. Get on your Google map, you can find it. You know, I'm sure you've got Google. If not, then you're a caveman. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, is there any other info that you guys want to give about the film or any other uh, things that you want to tell about it? You know, I know we don't want to give away too much, but. Well, uh, we also want to mention that. Um, we made this, you know, uh, because of the Louisiana Film Prize, but we are planning on entering this contest and other uh, film festivals, um, and uh, we're hoping uh, that this will uh, entertain a lot of people. Cool. Yeah, one thing I can see coming is hopefully this uh, 
might become a, a, either a feature film, someone will see it and say, this really would make a good long movie. Mm -hmm. Either that or several sequels too, because I, I keep thinking of one uh, called Son of Fred. <laughs> uh, <Mike>. <laughs> <laughs> you already got the sequel, and then with, with a sequel, already, I'm sure it'll become a prequel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Craig and Fred in daycare before this stuff really started to happen when they were little kids. That's right? it. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. Cool. All right, and uh, Kyle, I just want to ask you real quick because I know an important part of any uh, film or motion picture is going to be the music or the soundtrack. Uh, who did you guys work with to, to get that done? Well, uh, we worked with a great um, local musician by the name of Sean Stroop. Um, he is with Foxtrot Studios here in Tre Treeport, um, local uh, studio here in Treeport. And uh, Eric and I, um, we met with Sean and, uh, and sat down and side by side with the film, worked on a score for uh, one of the scenes. Um, and uh, we just can't say enough great things about him and his production over there at Foxtrot. Um, also, uh, one of Eric's good friends, I'll let Eric take over from here. Uh, yeah, Pat Galsden worked on the uh, film as well, some music for one of the scenes, and he's a great uh, local artist, and I basically called him up. Um, we sent him a scene, and uh, he's working in Colorado right now, and we sent, we sent it up to him in Colorado, and he made the music and sent it back, and we plugged it in. and. The so. music, you know, uh, is so key. A lot of people really, um, they forget about how important the music is, but, but the music brings the scenes to life. I mean, mm -hmm. the scenes, it just editing are so, uh, you know, they, they can come across very uh, dull without the, without the music. But once you put a, a good soundtrack in there, um, uh, it really does make uh, the scenes just come alive. Yeah, kind of set the mood. Uh, Absolutely. For we, we did an experiment one time, and I think there's a, there's a website where you watch a movie without the sound mm -hmm. to see how much different it is, you know. Completely. And even though you may get some things that you wouldn't normally get by hearing the sound, without the sound there's a lot missing because there's some questions that you have, your brain is trying to figure out, well, you know, are those expressions on his face serious? Is that, you know, something sarcastic? But the music can usually help you kind of judge, you know, what's oh, yeah. going on. Without but a doubt. We, we spend a lot of time on the audio and, you know, when you're watching a movie, you're, you're experiencing it. Mm -hmm. So you're watching it and you're hearing it. And right. if it doesn't sound right or there's some things that are off, people get taken out of that experience. And so um, there's a lot of times where you can have really bad shots or bad footage and put good music to it and it really helps it out. You know, and if you have bad sound, there's nothing you can do to save it. Right. So, you know, we, we spend a lot of time on the Absolutely, on the absolutely. Cool. Well, listen, I appreciate you guys for taking the time to do the interview with us so that we can find out what's going on in the entertainment industry. Thanks for having us on. And again, it's Deep Blue Productions. Uh, there is a Facebook page for the short film, Fred. Uh, do a search for it. And again, we're going to post the information on our website, khamradio.com. Thank you guys for listening, and uh, we'll get with you guys a little bit later. Keep it tuned to khamradio.com.